Take away my eyes, take away my ears, take it all away from me. Take away my arms, take away my knees, you can lay me down on me. Take away my heart, take away my soul, take it all away from me. Take away my dreams, take away my goals, you can lay me down on me. All right, let's do that in slow motion. A one, two, three, four, five, six. Hey everybody, Gary here with Pal Music, and this is just a quick lesson, no fret live animations, but if you want to see what those are, check out my other videos. I am going to add the tab to this video, but I was listening to this the other day, it was recommended on YouTube as I was scrolling around, and it's got such an awesome guitar loop in there and trumpet solo. So let's go over it. We've got this uh, G minor chord, that's the main chord here. Then we're going to go to a B flat sus chord sus2 b flat sus2 two ways to play that you could play it like this or like this same notes i think i played it this way first i was playing it this way but then i decided i like this one better all right so you got that sus chord there then we go to a c minor 7 chord now in the loop, I believe there's actually two guitars because you hear this note ring out, but then you hear. So I was trying to do both. I was starting here and then coming up here. Big stretch there. But you could just do, you could do like a here. You can do the root there if you want with your pinky on the 15th fret of the A or you can just go so we can go or or just <laughs> without the root altogether and then that reminds me of Nirvana they did those power chord arpeggios a lot like the song Lithium then we go to an E flat power chord. And then we go to an F major chord. So those are very similar. One's just a power chord, meaning there's no third in the chord. It's not major or minor. But then that second one, we want to get that, that third there. Can slide that up and then back to the top but now the second time he just goes like that on that sus chord instead of going which is the first time in the loop the second time it goes so there's more space for the singing and everything else going on with that cool all right, that's pretty much it. Um, as far as technique tips, it's really just not ma making sure that these notes in the chord don't ring out like this. It's this kind of... So play the note and then release pressure. Cool? All right, let's check out the solo now. All right, so for the solo, he's really not using many notes, but he's playing around with this motif thing. So we've got 
two main scales here that I'm using. So we've got the G minor. The position with the A string root with the first finger. This position. Cool. And then we've got the G blue scale, this one right here. What's great about this one is you've got the you've got the blue note up high right over here. And he plays around a lot with that blue note, the flat 5 sliding into the fifth. So this whole Whoa, I'm talking and my mouth isn't moving. This is so weird. No, I'm just kidding. So I was uh, going to do fret live animations for all of this and tab, but I actually can't. I don't have the time to do that. But I encourage you to figure the solo out by ear, knowing that it's all within these two scales that I showed you. And right now I'm going to show you how I learn the solo by ear by demonstrating kind of like how I try to sing it and then play it. So check that out. Also, if you want to download uh, all of the scale shapes in the key of G minor pentatonic, I've got a really cool like 10 page download that you could download and that's in the description. All right, back to the lesson. So what I recommend you do, because this is what I did to really memorize the solo, is try to sing it, you know? Do -do -do, do -do -do. Because that's really going to get it stuck in your head where you'll know what comes next. And then you create that connection between what you hear and what your fingers do. I spent, even though this solo sounded simple, I probably spent two hours transcribing it. And it was in the last 30 minutes when I decided to sing it that it all came together. All right, hope you have the same luck with that. So if you want the tab that you saw here, but on your own sheet where you could download, that's available to anyone that's a patron at patreon.com slash palmusic. That's where you can support these free lessons for as little as $1 a month and receive exclusive rewards, such as live lessons once or twice a week, depending on your tier, uh, supporting resources and tab to go along with all my lessons. So check that out. If you liked this lesson, please let me know by liking the video. And if you want to see more like it, please subscribe. Let me know in the comments how this went for you, what's missing, what you want to know more about, other songs that you would like to see a breakdown for. Happy playing, and I'll see you guys in the next lesson.